Most insect bites are mild and only cause minor irritation, but it is important to be aware of insect bites because some of them can cause more disease because insects can carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans. Spiders, ticks, and mosquitoes never invited to the backyard barbecue, but somehow they still show up each summer. Whether it's a bite or a sting, it can be hard to detect what exactly landed on you and caused reaction. In Health and Weather Extended, we are going to dive into the difference between mosquitoes, ticks, and spider bites so you can know what really bit you this summer. We'll start first with ticks. Tick bites will make anyone's stomach turn, especially if you find the tick still inside your skin, which can be common. It's best to remove the tick immediately with tweezers, making sure you get the entire tick out of your skin. Ticks can carry disease, and the most well-known is Lyme. It usually just looks like a small red bump. Some people can have just a small bump. Some people can have a larger bump. If you do become infected with the bacteria that causes Lyme disease, then you may notice that uh, you develop a larger red rash that spreads outwards from where you had the tick bite. And it almost spreads outwards in like a ring-like appearance and the rash can have a bull's eye appearance. And if you see that, it's best to go see your doctor and get tested for Lyme disease. Now I have found a tick on my dog before and I'll tell you, it is a startling experience. Ticks are usually found in areas like this along your local trail where tall grass is present. Now, next, I want to talk about something a little less startling, but much more common, the small blood sucking mosquito. Now, these can definitely carry disease. A mosquito bite looks like a small bump or a wheel. For most people, they'll just have like a minor irritation, like an itchy bump. So a small skin color bump that can be just very small or it can be larger and uh, expand and become quite red. For mosquitoes, it's important to be aware about uh, West Nile virus. If you are infected with West Nile virus, most people, about 20%, just have a, a mild a mild disease, like a flu-like illness. But 1% can have a serious illness, and it can cause meningitis, which is swelling of the spinal cord, encephalitis, swelling of the brain, and even uh, polio-like paralysis. West Nile virus is more common in the prairies and Ontario and Quebec. And lastly, we'll talk about the spider bite. While spiders do not spread disease, some, while rare, could have a venomous bite. Most people will have just a mild, small red bump, but there are a few toxic spiders that are rare in Canada. And some people can have a, a, toxic, a more toxic reaction so they can develop an ulcer or even a more um, systemic or full body reaction. So if that happens, then it's very important to go see a physician right away. Now that we've gone through ticks, mosquitoes and spiders, I'm noticing a common theme, a small red bump. What if they all kind of just look the same? How will I ever know what bit me? If it's just a mild irritation um, and it's it's just a very minor bump, then it's probably going to go away on its own. And it's not that important to know what bit it. You can just treat it. Everyone has a different reaction, so it can be hard to tell exactly what bit you. If, if you can get the bug, like if you get bitten by a spider and you can catch the spider, that's the best thing because then you can catch it and then you can bring it in to uh, the hospital for analysis. If the bite is bothering you and you want some relief, Yvette recommended to wash the surface and then apply some ice. You can also use a steroid cream to help reduce the bump or an oral antihistamine that can reduce itching. And remember, we really just scratched the surface. Deer flies, black flies, hornets, bees, wasps. There's a lot of hungry bugs out there this summer. Thanks so much for tuning in to Health and Weather Extended. The chat about bug bites, what they look like, and the diseases they spread.